All right, let's start out. Um, we're going to do examples one, two, and or problems one, two, and three together, and then you guys will do four, five, and six. Um, in this video, I'm going to solve for the areas on numbers one, two, and three. Um, and then in the next video, I will solve for the uh, perimeters. All right, so let's start with number one here. So um, we have kind of an L shaped figure. So let's split this up into two triangles or two rectangles. All right. So we need to figure out what this distance here is for this rectangle. So we know that this whole length across here, right, this whole length here is going to be 13. Right, this piece here is 13, so the piece down here is also going to be 13. Since this uh, piece here in blue is 8, um, we need this red piece then to add up to to add up to 13 with 8. So it's got to be 13 minus 8. It's got to be 5. Right. So we know the whole thing's 13. We know this piece is 8. So 13 minus 8. It's got to be 5. Right. Which means this piece down here is 5. So now we have two rectangles here. The area formula for a rectangle is length times width. So the small rectangle down here, our dimensions are five and seven. So we're going to do five times seven, which is going to give us 35. Uh, and that's meters squared. Okay. Um, and then we have this other rectangle up here, the green one. All right, our dimensions for our green one are 13 and 6. So area equals length times width. Uh, our length is going to be 13. Our width is 6. Uh, 13 times 6. Uh, that's going to get you 78 meters squared. All right, so we have 35 meters squared down here. We have 78 meters squared up here, and then we're going to add them together. So 78 plus 35, right, that's going to give us 83 plus 30, so 93, 103, 113. So our area here is going to be 113 meters squared. All right, 5 by 7 is giving us 35, and 6 by 13 is giving us 78. We add them together, that gives us the total area. In the next one, um, we have a rectangle and a circle. Okay, so we're going to have a, uh, let's start with our area formula for a rectangle is length times width. Okay, so 8 times 5, right, 8 times 5. That's going to give us 40. So the area of our rectangle here is 40 centimeters squared. All right, the area here is 40 centimeters squared. All right. Uh, if this distance here is 5, we know that this distance here is also going to be 5. Zoom in a little here. So we know that's also going to be 5. Um, if we notice here, we have a half of a circle. Okay, our area formula for a circle is pi r squared. So we need the radius. This green line here in our circle is the diameter because it goes all the way across the circle. So our radius is simply going to be half of that. So it's going to be 2.5, right? Each of these pieces is going to be 2.5. So our radius here is 2.5. So we use our area for a circle formula. Uh, again, we only have half of a circle, so it's going to be one half pi r squared because we don't want the area of the whole circle. We only want the area of half of it. Right? We already accounted for this down here in our rectangle. Right? All of this has already been accounted for in the 40 centimeters squared we found for the rectangle. So what we have left is half a circle. So it's going to be half pi r squared. Pi r squared would give us the area of the whole circle. We only want half. So 1 half times pi, and then our radius is 2.5, so it's 2.5 squared. OK, 
Okay, I don't know what 2.5 squared is, so I got to use my calculator. Um, so we have 0.5 times 1 half, right? 0.5 times pi times 2.5 times 2.5, right? 2.5 squared is 2.5 times 2.5. Uh, we hit equals here, and we're going to get 9.8. So the area of that half circle is approximately 9.8 centimeters squared. Right. So then our final answer for this is going to be the area of the whole thing, right? which is all of this, right? which is going to be 40, the rectangle, plus 9.8, the half circle. So we're going to do 40 plus 9.8, which is going to give us 49.8, and then centimeters squared. So 49.8 square centimeters to cover that whole surface. All right, uh, the next one, number three here, we have a triangle and we have a rectangle. So the rectangle, again, is the easy part. So that's going to be length times width. So 12 by 12 for our rectangle is going to be 144. Fairly straightforward there, 144, and this is meters, so meters squared. All right, that's this area here. Okay, but we also have a triangle. All right, so if it's 12 down here, that means this length here is also 12. We know the area formula for a triangle is 1 half base times height. So we can do 1 half times the, the base of our triangle here, which is 12. Here's our triangle. And our height is 5. So 1 half times 12 is 6. 6 times 5 is going to be 30. So the area of the triangle here is going to be 30 meters squared. And then we just simply want to add these two together to get the area of the whole thing. So the area of the whole thing, the area of all of this, right, is going to be 144 plus 30, which is going to be 54, 64, 74. So 174 meters squared. So 174 uh, square meters to cover that whole surface of that diagram. Okay, um, it'll be another video. We'll go over the perimeter for one, two, and three here. Um, and then you'll be able to do the area and perimeter for four, five, and six all on your own.